All right, so limits of a function. So we are moving on to the next subtopic, which is what? Equations involving what? Limits. I believe you know what an equation is. It's a numerical statement or a mathematical statement which involves what? An equal sign. So it's a numerical statement or it's a mathematical statement which involves an equal sign. So that's an equation. So equations involving limits. So now, let's see, what example? So let's start. If, let's start with example one. If the limit as x approaches 2 of 2f of x minus 5 all on x plus 3, all on x plus 3. The limiting value equals 4. So they said find the limit as x approaches 2 of that f of x. So how we do it? When you get a question like this, it's very easy. It's the same idea we used in solving what? Limit. It's the same idea. So it's the same idea we used in solving limits. So now, how do you proceed? So we start as the limit as x approaches 2 of this 2, f of x, right? Minus, we distribute the limits as x approaches 2 to this, then that. Huh? So the limit as x approaches 2 of 5 all over the limit as x approaches 2 of what? x plus the limit as x approaches 2 of what? 3 equals 4. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't affect the limit as x approaches 2 of this 4 here. It will be the same thing as 4, but don't, don't. Because this limit as x approaches 2 is affecting only what is inside the bracket here. Thank you. So now, we have that. So now, if you watch here, this one is a constant. You can bring it outside, right? Or they are multiplying, so we can do something here. Which we all know that is the limit as x approaches what, 2 of 2 times the limit as x approaches 2 of what? f of x, right? Minus the limit of a constant as x approaches 2 is what? 5, right? all over the limit as x approaches 2 of this x we plug in that so we have what 2 then plus the limit of a constant gives what the same constant which is 3 equals what 4 right so now here we have the limit of a constant as x approaches 2 which is what 2 times the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 then minus 5, all on this one gives what? 5 equals what? 4. Right. So we can do something here. We have to clear what? The denominator by multiplying through by what? 5. So I have 5 times, then times 5. So this one cancels, right? So I have 2 len as x approaches 2 of f of x minus 5 equals what? 20. Right. So now, let's proceed. So this one comes to the what? To the right hand side. Or what can you do? You can divide here by what? Two. So that this one cancels. Hey, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, ah. Yeah, so. Alright, sorry. Okay, bring this one here. I thought this one is attached to this one. Sorry. So let's send this 5 to the right hand side. So I have 2 len as x approaches 2 of f of s equals, so I'll get 20 plus 5, which is what? 25, which must be equal to that. Right. Let me clean this place. I believe you are following how we are doing it. 
you take the limit as x approaches 2 of this, the limit as x approaches 2 of that, the limit as x approaches 2 of this, the limit as x approaches 2 of that, then you go it to 4. Then use the laws of limits to find for that. Right. So now, let's see. So we have 2 times the limit as x approaches to u of f of x, which must be equal to 25. Right. So what do we do? We divide here by 2, we also by 2. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 25. Um, so so we say we should find for the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. So the answer is what? 25 on 2. And 25 on 2 is the same thing as 12.5. 12.5. So when you get a question on this, that's how you what you solve it. When you get a question on this, that's how you will solve it. So next time, next time, next time, next time, I'll send you the next video. I'm tired. You can see from the onset that I'm tired. Right? So next time we'll do simple trigonometric functions of limits. Or the limit of simple trigonometric functions. So you do for tan, sine, cos, cosec, cot, then the sec. So you have to note all of them. Right. You have to note all of them. So this one, you can go and try some. You can go and try some. You can go and try. So watch very carefully. Right. All right. So let me see whether I can give you one question on this to go and try. Let's say here will be g of x, g of x, then here is 4, then here is 10, then here is, so let's say x minus 6, then the limiting value is 4. So you just going to try this, right? So you try that, uh, you try, you try, right? Okay, so next time we'll do limits of simple trigonometry functions. Limits of simple trigonometry functions. I believe you know the trick functions, right? The trick functions we have what? We have sine or the trick ratios, right? They are called the trick ratios. For core math, we have sine, cos, and tan. But for elective math, we're going to deep. So sine, cosine. We have tangent, we have cosecant, we have secant, then we have cotangent. And when you come to the university, you know that we have more. It is sex, sex, cosex, we have cosh, we have touch. So there are more, there are more to this, right? So next time we do the limits, how to find for limits of this simple trick functions. And these simple trick functions also have what? It's rules governing them. So if you want to solve for the limit of these simple trick functions, you have to what? You have to know the rule, the rule, the law abiding this trick functions here. So that's it. So you have to know the rules. So we'll meet another time. Thank you and thank you. Then stay safe. Learn hard, solve the examples, then show it to your teachers, okay? Or, in other words, you can bring it to me. Don't worry. Bye-bye.